uh, we can make now another animation. What about the walking animation? So we reset everything here. So create new. We can write here, for example, walk. And then we are going to start. So these are very simple walkings. Okay, so let's start with the first. The first thing that we need to move, because if not, if you try to do it at the end, we add all the parts, it is the torso. Okay, so it's important to always move the torso. Probably I want this guy to move a little bit forward again for the torso thing. And then I'm going to move R to keep the torso in the center. And then I'm going to check in the first frame for the legs. I press R to return to rotation things. So this one forward, this one backwards, and that's it. This is pretty simple walking, right? Now we can have something different. Remember, uh, for example, your arms go to the opposite side of your leg. For example, if your leg is going front, your arm is going uh, back in the same side. Well, now I want to have something like with the sword to make it more, uh, I don't know, aggressive scarier but he's walking with the sword uh, probably the head the head I guess it's okay I don't know well something like this now we have the head we have the first position now we're going to keep it in 30 we go to the this is a this is going to be again a loop so we enable loop now in options we are not going to use it all we are going to use action okay so that's very important now if you check in the first frame i don't have any frames for these things so i recommend you add them so you go here at the top almost at the top and you just press add keyframe and it's going to add all the keyframes for all the parts of your model all the available uh, parts now we just copy i am using the menu because sometimes it's not working with the control c or control v i don't know why well, now we copy the first and the last because it's going to be a loop. Now, in the middle, in the 15 frame 15, we're going to select the legs and we're going to drag them to the opposite side. And then we are going to add this one to the opposite side. Now, I remember that in the first frame, I didn't modify the, the arm. This arm has to go back. Sorry. Also, we need to select again, copy all the frames and then paste them here to have the same frames in the beginning at the end and at the end. Now, in the middle, obviously, we need to have this arm going forward. So here, probably here. And probably here. Now about the sword, I don't want the sword to go a lot. Okay, so this arm because it's holding the sword in front, it's not going to take it a lot back. So you lose just look for your so if you cannot select it here, you just select here. Okay, so we know that this is right arm, and then we just move it a little bit back and we open here the arm so this is not going to a lot moving a lot now the sword a little bit probably here going up and then we just check okay looks like a big animation but we now need need to give more detail also here in the center, I recommend you add another keyframe for all the parts. So you select the first part. If you cannot do that, ah uh, yes, I have selected all of them. So uh, that's it. Looks nice. But if you check, it looks a little bit like fake. Because when we walk, if you check, we have like going up and down. So let's say that when we are open the leg, we have opened the legs. We are a little, we are a little bit up. Okay, so in this case, we check the feet, they are uh, touching this thing. And now check, 
if you check here, these are going like touching the ground. So in this case, we are going to take a little bit of the torso because the feet are touching there. So we just make sure that we are not flying. And I guess that's okay. We are going to check the other one here. It's going down. And then here, more or less in the middle, when the leg is making contact, we want the torso to be a little bit up. So we select here. Uh, we check the handle. It's the blue one. We take the blue one. We make sure that we are just above the floor. And that's it. It's a little bit, not too much, but check. It looks like it's moving now. Now, there is something more. If you check, there is always a leg that it's coming from back to front. So, but here is not just like sliding. That's not natural. We are like taking this leg up. It's when you are doing the passing move. So we select the leg. And remember, this is an R6. So to give the illusion, we are going to take it up. And you can also rotate it a little bit just to give the illusion that it's like having more things. I mean, you are going to see the difference. Check this one. Check. And now check the difference with the original. In the original, it looks like you're just like sliding the, the, the legs. So well. It's like taking it okay, up. Now we're going to do the same with the opposite. So when it's going forward, we're going to take it more or less here. And we're going to select this one. We're going to take it up. And we're going to rotate. I am doing maybe a lot about this movement, but well, I want to exaggerate things sometimes. And now check. This looks more natural. If you have a role play, piggy role play, try to make sure that you have some of like this, okay? Because I don't like to see just sliding legs that, that look so fake. Okay, now, what about the, the head? Check. Let's think about, think about you when you walk. Up, you go up, and then you go down. So probably when you go down, your head, it's moving a little bit down. Probably here, we select the head. And probably we select here the head in this part. Here, down. And now here it's going up because it's like touching the ground. We exaggerate a little bit. Here. And then here it's going uh, up. And that's it. Now I like this head position. I'm going to copy this head position in the center. Just copy, just this one, select, copy selected. I go to the first frame and I paste the keyframe. Then I go to the last frame and I paste the same keyframe. Paste, keyframe. And now check. That looks okay. Probably you say, nah, it looks the same as that. Well, probably. Then we can take the head up a little bit in these ones when it's touching the the floor here also just to exaggerate the head movement check that looks more natural also you can bend the head a little bit depending of the the leg that it's moving okay for example in this case we can press r and then i'm going to move it a little bit just to the right in the first frame obviously you need to do any change you do in the first frame, you need to copy these changes in the last frame to make they look like smooth. Now here up, neutral, and then here it's going to move to the opposite because the leg is here. So let's move it a little bit here, and that's it. Ah, check. So you have an R6, but it doesn't have to be boring animation, okay? And you can add some in-betweens also in the arms. Okay, for example, here, probably you can find this arm, make it like open a little bit here in the middle. Also the other one. Or the sword. You can make the sword a little bit. Just subtle changes. And then this one. Check. This thing is alive.
What about the mouth? Well, the mouth, you can animate the mouth, something in the mouth. Probably here, 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 and from here, we are going to select this, and it's going to open just a little bit. It's going to open here. Uh, so, and then it's going to close. Yes, that's pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Check this wonderful guy. But check the walking, guys. We are using an R6, but we have a very, very cool animation. So, most of the characters that you find in the toolbox are like R6, okay? So that's important. I show you in the first part how to fix the model rift a little bit, okay? So, and then I also show you how to connect and some extra parts, probably, and also, how to use these kind of logs just to have a reference for the feed when you make like idle animation you want to make something crazier okay well anyway so we are ready to export make sure that you are in action that it's loop and you just click export and that's it bad j bad j walk and then you just add that description submit and it's ready to go now we have this wonderful thing it's amazing it's amazing 